Hi everyone, Grant K here from the Smoke Learning Channel. When compositing in any application, composite sizes can range from one layer going all the way up to a massive amount of layers. So as you all know, the larger the composites, the more layers we have, the more difficult it is to manage those layers as well as see what's going on through the composite camera. So here are a few tips to help you out managing larger composites when using the Action 3D Compositor. I'll be using my CoverFlow animation example that I had built in a previous video. Now there are three interactive functions I want to cover today. Hiding objects, soloing objects, and wireframe display functions, better known as the icon display. In a composite like this, there are loads of objects that you may not want to see while you are in the middle of a job. So the simplest thing you can do is to select an object and press the hide button located to the right of the interface. So the object has disappeared and at any time you can bring it back by pressing the hide button or the H keyboard shortcut. You can also hide a selection of objects at the same time. Hold down the Control keyboard shortcut and drag a box across the nodes and press the H button. Press the Hide button to bring the objects back. One last tip to mention about the Hide function is that it also acts as a mute function for tools in the composite. For example, We'll go to the Light node in the Action Schematic and select it. Applying the Hide function to it mutes the lighting effect given off by that particular Light node. Now hiding objects is fine if we want to knock out the odd function here or there. But sometimes we want to really focus on a particular object or set of objects. This is where Solo comes in. At the bottom right of the interface, I will switch the selection mode from Selected to Branch. Now we can select any axis branch in the schematic and it will select all the nodes connected in the branch. To the right of the interface is the Solo button. Pressing the Solo button isolates the selected branch or object we can now make our adjustments if necessary. Selecting any other objects in the schematic will simply switch the solo's focus to the objects that are selected in the composite. So we don't have to keep turning solo on and off if we just want to switch objects to isolate them in a temporary fashion. Once we're done with solo, just turn the button off and we're back to the main composite with all the layers visible as before. One of the other helpers I am sure you've noticed is the wireframes or what we call icons. Icons can be virtual objects in the composite such as lights and cameras. They also help us see the physical size and positioning of objects in 3D space. So the larger the composite, the more wireframe icons become visible. Now you can press the Control i keyboard shortcut to toggle the icons on and off. But one hidden feature is located in the Action Setup menu. Go to the left of the interface and switch to the Setup menu. Select the Preference tab. In the Preferences menu, you will see a display title where the icon's settings live. The blue pop-up button actually has three options. Icons off, icons on, and icons selected. Choose the selected option from the blue pop-up. So now when we select an object in the schematic view or composite, we will only be presented with the wireframe icon for the selected object. This makes things easier to see amongst so many objects and the Control i keyboard shortcut still toggles the icons on and off. 
If you want to know any more information about Autodesk Smoke, or you'd like to download the free 30-day trial copy, just go to autodesk.com forward slash smoke for Mac. Thank <laughs> you.